everybody, Sam back once again. We're here at MWC 2016, and we'll look at this, the S7 Edge again. Um, I've had a few requests to what this, have a look what the new Edge panels are. So if we kind of swipe them from the side, we're gonna go through some of them now. So you kind of got like a weather one. So if we swipe through it up, go out of it. So swipe through them, we've then got, I think it's like a people's kind of edge. So it's very similar to last year's in terms of that one. We've then got the apps, so you can add any app you'd like to put on there. So you go through them and say, right, want to take a picture from Panorama? That'll add it to there, which I think is pretty cool, actually. We can kind of go through it, add contacts. We can then add a, what is it? Add like different galleries, create different things, call different people, so sort of view the log, et cetera, et cetera. That's actually a pretty cool idea. So if I now click say, right, I want to tap that one, it goes straight into the Panorama node. That's a very cool feature, and that's probably something that's a bit more useful than it was last year. Swiping back into it, swiping across again, we then got the little compass, which is cool, but nah, not too sure I'd actually use that in all honesty. And then we've got the Yahoo News. So I'd probably just go to the Yahoo app in all honesty if I'm gonna be looking at news. I think that's kind of a bit of a waste of time because you're only getting half of it. And then you have to tap into it and go into the app anyway. I'll go to the website. So it seems a bit of a waste if you ask me. Swiping in, going left again, we've then got our apps uh, edge. So what was the other one? Ah, the other one you can customize in terms of tasks. Ah, there we go, I should have already read that, I shouldn't have missed that one out. So we've got tasks, and then at last, the other one is called the apps edge as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, so let's go into the settings, let's have a look at these ones as well. So you can say what you want on there, so you can say, right, I don't longer want the compass on there. Ah, look, you can actually add more things as well. So let's have a quick look at some of these ones. So what's that one? Okay, we'll turn them all on, shall we? Oh, you can only turn so many on. So you can only have nine maximum at one time. So we'll go back out and we'll have a look at some of these new ones I've just added to it. So let's go across there. So this one, it says, it's called My Places. And this one says, manage functions and app shortcuts, useful, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so you can say, right, currently now I'm at work. And what does it add it to your place? Nah, cool idea. And then got Yahoo Finance. There, no thanks. And then we got Yahoo Sports. But again, with these ones, it, I, the finance one I can understand, but that seems pretty cool. Other ones, man, maybe not so much. And yeah, let's go back into the settings. Let's enable some of the other ones as well. Ah, it comes in when you don't want it to. I'll tap off those, tap on these. Let's have this one as well. Let's see what this one offers us. So this one offers you internet shortcuts. Pretty cool. I think this one's pretty, I mean, are more useful than the other ones. And then last but not least, we've then got the Edge Planner. And again, this one can be pretty useful. I understand this one. I'm not a massive fan of the news ones, the sports ones, etc. They seem a bit of a waste. And I think that's pretty much it in terms of, I just actually you download more. So there are quite a lot more. So you've got like the Edge Board, you've got RAM usage. That one seems like a good idea to me, so let's have a look at that one. Yeah, accept and download. I guess I'm doing it on the fly now, guys and gals. So that must be installed for us. We've then got data usage panel, we've got trends from Twitter, uh, CNN is smart, so blah, blah. The one more important one for me there would be probably the uh, RAM one. So let's untick that. Let's have a look at the RAM status. So now, at any point, you can kind of swipe in and go, right, boom. That's how much RAM we're using right now. So currently, as you can hopefully just see if it wants to focus for me. Right, so there we go. So as you can see now, the RAM, we have got, I think we're using 2.39 of 3.5. That don't sound so good, but it sounds like there's a kind of very, um, very kind of, kind of RAM, a RAM hog, I think the word I might want to use. Yeah, RAM hog, yeah. I'm going to say excessively using the RAM, but a RAM hog sounds a little bit better. But that's it, that's just a quick look and a first look at the new edge panel on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Some of the features are pretty cool, I understand some of them. Some of them, meh, not too keen about. But anyway, what do you think? Are you impressed by the new features to put on there? Does it make you think, tell you what, I actually want to buy the Edge one now? Because last year I didn't want to buy it because it was rubbish. This year, wow, it's got so many new features, I want it. Are you thinking, meh, I'm just going to get a standard S7. As always, let me know in the comments down below. If you are new to your channel, it is very much appreciated if you can hit the subscribe button. Why? Because it's free, you know, free, free, free. And go on, tickle the like button. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> you know you want to. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. You'll hopefully see me in my next one. Cheers, everyone.